Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work in Basecamp to make your workspace effective, fast and easy to work in. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Basecamp.com and once we logged in to our, to our account, to our workspace, we can start exploring all the features of uh, Basecamp. First thing, we want to go to the top right corner of our screen and click on our icon. There are a lot of options for you. For example, my profile or my devices, if you are using or you want to use Basecamp on your mobile uh, device or uh, personalize your Basecamp account, you can change the colors if you want to and so on. Or basically, we can turn on focus mode. This is a very good thing to do uh, if you don't want to be on, or you don't want to get disturbed by anyone. So as you can see at the top corner, you are focusing now. So let's go from the left to the right. You have your home button, which basically returns you to your workspace. Then there are pings if you want to chat with someone uh, from your team or your colleagues. Uh, hey, activity. Now uh, there you can see all your activities uh, in the past, past days or past hours. Basically, latest activities was gonna uh, what happened in your workspace. There are someone's assignments, so you just write down the assignment, for example, for you, but we'll get to my assignments in a minute. Overdue to-dos, so uh, some to-dos that they are late. Someone else's activity, to-dos edit and complete it, and upcoming dates, which is basically calendar that you can tweak around your, yourself. And then there are my stuff, my assignments, my bookmarks, my schedule, my draft, my boost, and so on. Upcoming dates, for example. So let's go, uh, let's go home to our original workspace. And let's start from the start. On the left side, you can add a logo uh, of your company. Basically, I don't know, we can go with a test. And as you can see, there's this uh, uh, lake in the night. Let's go with save and voila, there's your, uh, there's your background and uh, M-Stone headquarters. Now we have a message board. So this is for me. Uh, first things first, let's go with, let's go with Basecamp tutorials right away hello youtube you can post this message between all of our colleagues involved in our workspace so that's this we can uh slide we can just return back to headquarters as you can see on the message board it's basically tutorials you can still add a new message this, post this message and so on. And on the top of this sheet, you can just click on uh, uh, headquarters. And as you can see, there are, there are two messages on the board visible for everyone. To do's, name this list, uh, base camp, edit the list. Uh, this will be shown uh, for the rest of our crew, what is about to happen on, or what's on the today's task. Describe to do's, do the tutorials. Assignment, at the moment there's only me, so I'm gonna assign myself. When done, notify me. A specific date, let's go till tomorrow and uh, or uh, run for more days, but let's go with this one. 
nodes. If we need some, we can add some and we just added it to, to our to-do list. When we, when we go back, we are back at uh, our headquarters and we can basically see the to-dos in this sheet. Docs and files. As you can see, you can just upload all the necessary documents and files. So let's go with a new and you can start a new document, make a new folder or upload files. Works basically the same way. Post to the project, as you can see, I just uploaded this avatar gift back to headquarters. And as you can see, there's this avatar, but we can still go with new and or we can link to the files from Google Drive, Dropbox, uh, Box or OneDrive. So that will actually make your life way easier. Campfire. Uh, now you can ask the random questions and so on. Schedule. As you can see, schedule is basically listing all those events that you have to attend basically to the dues. So next due is tomorrow, Friday, August 13. And yeah, that's about it for headquarters. We can now head back home. As you can see, there is my company and my teams. This one is pre-mated by Basecamp, so we can leave it alone, but we can take a sneak peek. How, uh, how does it look? As you can see, there are all people uh, writing to each other now are to do's documents and files schedules and so on but let's go and manage our own team we can start with a new one name this team mstone boys for example save and yet here we go again we don't need help message board for our team only this team uh, will be considered or will be assented only by people that I decide to work with. So let's go with Basecamp again. Post this message. Let's go back to the team. This is very useful feature of Basecamp, uh, which will make your life easier. And that's just basically when you go to your mstorm for example headquarters and go to the message board you can straight away jump to the previous sheet you don't have to look for uh cancels or x's just jumping back but let's go to the boys to do's let's go with basecamp again tutorials add the list now we can assign assign people so that's only me at the moment at describe tutorials saving and describe uh, this to do okay okay let's go to the boys and as you can see there are a lot of tutorials you can yet again implement files implement schedule, campfire, automatic check-ins. You can see team activity for today. Let's go home. And yeah, we're here. You can also show team as a card or as a list of teams, but I prefer cards. On the last, there are projects. If you want to start with a new project, for example tutorial we are saving the tutorial when we are click on those three dots on the top right corner there are pin this project rename or archive or delete same goes with uh, with teams but you can't actually delete your headquarters obviously so let's go to tutorial now we can invite people when we click on invite people add people to our team name let's go with francis email let's go like this title member company mstone 
we can add another person or we don't have to we can personalize the note uh, of inv invitation and we can preview the email it's just basically basecamp invite and send now now uh, it's sent and as you can see people on this project is francis and me go back to tutorial and now with the message on board or basically to do's you can name this basecamp group and start to as you can see francis is already present for our in our team or in in our project and that's about it so as you can see francis should be doing tutorial for basecamp and it, he is assigned to it yet again there are uh, documents campfire schedule automatic check-ins so on activity as you can see in activity there will be only francis because he's my it's a member of the group or employee uh, latest activities overdue to do's we have none yet because everything's on time and so on and so on so that's about it i hope you found this video helpful and see you on the next one